Archbishop Dr. Kazimba Mugalu, Neba Nadine Abalina Funa Kralero, Omutaka Namuama, Naba Takawa Kulu, Abo Solia, Abalangira Naba Mbeja, Ba Ambassadors, Ba Minister Mu Government, Eyawakati, Ba Ministers Abaliko, Naba Omula, Rube Nengede, Sesa, Ba Ministers Okva Mwakabaka, Ba Uganda, CEO MTN, Oweirinya, Sylvia. Nani zanyo mkwa anogo ange omombeja Elizabeth Vagaya. Owe Toro. Ngeda atudewa mune mchala Joyce Mpanga. Ne mchala Roda Kalema. Na kwa tibuwa mkisokutula wa mna bachala wano. Avali, Avava, they very instrumental in the development of Uganda. And I think they've all written books. And I know Princess Bagaya, your book is also on the way. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. Yes, and very instrumental in our development since the 60s and, and uh, in the women's movement in our country. So I'm privileged to sit right on the same table with them today when I'm launching my book. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nesimi nyo nukubeda ni familia yange, familia ya sebu guawo, abo luganda, muevali. Mwanike kumikono tulawe weobli, mchala. Joy Sebugwao, Uyao, Nawa Lawanji Nyo, Omwe Nawa Baliwa Senga, Senga Mwe Bali, Mwe Bali Kujia, Nwa Ganda Wange, Mwe Bali Nyo Kujia, Mwe Nawa Bali Wano. Sanyo Nyo, Manyi Mulimu, Mikwano Jangebe Na Soma Anga Na Vo, Okuvi Kanta Ndike, From Lake Victoria School, Please, Mwebali. Yeah? Anyone out there? <laughs> I know. Nora, are you there? Yeah, Nora, Rakembo, and Barnard, and all. Pleased to see you. And Wanyange, I'm sure you have Wanyange here. Oh, yes. In the full house. <laughs> Gayaza Primary School. Yeah, there. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You know, this story is also about them. I, you know, I enjoyed that part, writing about school. That was one of the most fun parts to write about, my school days. Nsanyu senyo, mwenami kwa anoja ange, abaze wanole iru, wentani kwa kumenya amanya, sija kubanga mwena, Abo Luganda, Nabi Mikwano, Mwebale Nyo 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 Okubera Wano, Unakura Lero. I would like to start by giving extraordinary appreciation from the depth of my heart to the Sabasa Jakabaka of Uganda. for having allowed me to lend a hand to the progress and development of our region and people, for having allowed me to do both, as the previous speakers have talked, spoken about, and as you read in the book. I don't want to spoil it for you, although it has somehow been spoiled. And for being supportive to me while doing it. I'm grateful to the people of Uganda and all Ugandans who have loved, cared for, and supported our family during my time as Nawa 
the last 23 years. I want to thank and express my gratitude to every one of you who is here this evening as I launch my autobiography. Now, writing an autobiography or biography can be a daunting process. Re-experiencing steps taken at different points of your life, reflecting on all experiences and events that have shaped you, some exciting and others not so exciting. Now, in this process of telling your story, you may inadvertently affect other people. So it is also a highly sensitive process, and therefore I have endeavored not to be detrimental. However, if I have disappointed or hurt anyone in this process, I ask that you forgive me because it was not the intention. My intention was to share information, sometimes with, with a bit of humor, to educate, engage, inspire, encourage you. Information that would make a positive difference in your lives. And I ask you to look at it that way, because I love you all so much. So I have written this book for all of you the primary school pupils, secondary and university students, the corporate charities, business people, retired and beyond. It's a book that can be read by everyone. Please get the information through your own eyes. Don't let others read it for you. There are many people whom I would like to thank before I launch. And I have acknowledged many in the book, but I wouldn't like to mention names here because I'm bound to leave some out as I have already done so in the, in the biography, even though it turns out that I have written one of the longest acknowledgements when you go to that biography. I have still left out, managed to leave out some very important people and for that I apologize. However, for this occasion, I'll make an exception and mention a few key, po key people that have been in my life, and those are my parents, both departed and those still alive. The departed, my father, John Luswata, my grandparents, Omutaka Nelson and Catherine Sebugwao, my maternal grandparents, George William and, and Nora Musoke, and Daddy Maxwell Kojo. I give thanks to each one of them. I remember and thank them for all the ways in which their lives touched me. For the difficult as well as the good times, for the ways in which their lives and their love continue to be with me. With thanksgiving, I'll always remember them. I'd like to thank Mama Edith Luswata for her support and care. As a young teenager, I spent more time with my father and Mama Edith, and together with my siblings, Patrick, Nelson, Barbara, Juliet, we experienced their love and protection. Finally, I thank my mother, Rebecca, for loving and guiding me along with my siblings, Rubin and Monique. Your inner strength and resilience has undoubtedly rubbed off on me. Who am I to attract such an interest at such a time as this? To attract you to come and be interested in my book, to read my story. It is indeed a blessing from God that I, the Navagaleka, writes a book, and so many people like you would want to read it. It's a blessing beyond words. One man said, I don't read and I, and I have no interest in reading books, but I'm going to read Navagarika's book. I thank God for that. I thank God Almighty himself. He gave me difficult tests 
but he also gave me the courage to overcome them. He allowed me to have doubts and showed me red flags, but then he gave me the willpower to emerge from them. I thank God for his guidance and his love. He is my anchor and my seasoned captain, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who helps me navigate life's treacherous waters. He blessed me to be a blessing to others, and I pray that this book will be a blessing to many of you. Thank you very much for listening to me. At this juncture, call upon the Namagerika of Buganda to officially launch her book. Our ushers will now re unveil the dummy book, and there it is. Before the Nabagerka signs, I'm going to take this opportunity to kindly ask the ushers to kindly stand on the other side, and the Nabagerka will be left in that position. At this juncture, the Nabagerka will sign on the book. The Nabag it's the Nabagerka's book. The Nabagerka will officially face the press and stand to position for the official first portrait of the launch of the book. So at this juncture, the Navagerka will remain standing there. I'm going to kindly ask protocol to shift the portrait to the center. The Nabagerka will stand closest to me, and every, every guest I call upon will stand on the other side. Yes, the Nabagerka will stand closest to you. Yes. Right here, right here. Yes. Can you bring the book? For your mercy never fails. A special thank you to the usher. The Nabagirka will officially stand here. Ladies and gentlemen, we respect you in all your capacities, but not all of us can have pictures or official portraits. So I, you will bear with us as I call upon the following people to come. Yes, I love you. Oh, yeah, we're going to go. 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 We're going to go